and welcome this is bootstrap and today i am starting a new series which i hope to be updating frequently uh, i know i've said that in the past but i will promise to try and do it this time this is going to be the first of my dollar game club for broke ass gamers so we all know there's a ton of AAA games coming out and we all know they are going to be about sixty dollars or more if you want the bullshit premium packs of all that crap and blah 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 but you know some of us don't have a ton of cash and have to do with the uh, cheap and I'm gonna try and find you some games that are dirt cheap and uh, you know it's fun to play uh, try to keep these games under five dollars if possible so the one I'm looking at today is called um, well, apparently it's uh, not decided to look uh, Nilhumbra I, I Nilhumbra I don't know I probably am not pronouncing it right but um, got good positive reviews it retails for about seven ninety nine. I got mine on a steam sale for about I want to say two dollars and fifty cents so it's the cheap and even if you're on the dole you should be able to buy that let's have a look at it it's a pretty game a side scroller platformer blah blah, blah nothing special oof very loud though you are born let's cut that down. you are born you are born it does have some pretty cool narration uh, but that was way too loud uh, that we will get rid of enhanced color yes HD texture vsync no yeah, so pretty bare bones selection there uh, like I said, these aren't going to be, uh, a lot of these games aren't going to be super great. Some of them will be older games you guys might know about, but maybe haven't played. Uh, I forget when this said this came out, but oh well. Uh, we'll call ourselves... Bootstrap. Starp. Bootstrap. Uh, whatever. Alright. Let's go. Now, I won't be playing a ton, just a little bit to kind of give you guys a, a feel for the game. And uh, like I said, something you guys should be able to pick up for pretty cheap. As soon as there's another sale. Again. You are born. Basic response. Very responsive controls, I must say. What are you? I believe I'm a black testicle. We'll move on. You shouldn't be alive. You will never escape from this place. We now can jump. Yay! I do like the art style. Um, this it's little... Uh, this little whole background with the hazy smoke going on and the like liquidish stuff at the bottom. Looks pretty cool. Pretty responsive, like I said, and uh, doesn't take much to run at all. You don't belong out there. You have escaped from the void. Now you are in the world. I'm in the world. These small lies Checkpoint. Will forgive your mistakes. Boing. The void behind, Boing. But it is coming to get you. It's cold. Can I have a jacket? Is this a j Oi, that's not a jacket. That's a flaming flamer. Boing, boing. The music is pretty cool. The narration is pretty cool. And like I said, it does respond well. And Oh, it's the lethal... Ah! I'm all right. I'm all right. I know I'm going to be all right. Frozen clefts. Just like I remember back in the days when I was growing up as a lad in Aberdeen. Everything's frozen. Don't worry. You are safe for now. Doppelganger. Da, 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 da. More than meets the eye. Yay. Even 
if you I look like a freaking leper. Match this world. You are still an outcast. You will need more momentum to jump here. No shite. This is a beautiful place. This black man can't it's jump. Not for you. You were born from the void. You are nothing in this world. Well, that's not very good for your self-confidence, that's for sure. You know, if I could have a coat, it would be much more comfortable. This coat is keeping me very, very cold. I don't remember the snow like this ever in Calcutta. Point, point, point. New ability! I have played this a little bit before, uh, just to kind of get a vibe for it. And uh, I liked it. it. It was a fun little game. What is this? I don't know. A color? It's not an object or a being. It's a property. Damn, this is deep. Everything can have a color. Racist. Even you. What the? All right, enough fooling around. Let's have a go. To learn something new. Learn something new. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so these are some, I don't know what to call them, power-ups, abilities, whatever the hell you want to call them. They allow you to actually transform the environment. Uh, certain areas you can change, some you can't. So this one, obviously, is made because you know if you uh, and you left click to do it right click to remove it because uh, obviously as you can see if you go normally you're not going to make it and it's telling you hey dumbass use your new ability so we will and now we'll be able to slide right through there yay and then surfaces like that you can't use we're going to make this jump now so, I'm not going to play a ton of this game, guys. I mean, you guys can find people who are very, very skillful, I'm sure, that do less play, uh, let's plays and, and uh, you know, speed runs through various games. I'm sure you could even find this one. Um, this, like I said, series is more so just to kind of give you guys some options out there. Uh, you know, maybe you've only got a few dollars and want to do something over a weekend and, uh, you know, or just in general don't feel that you need to spend a ton of money uh, to enjoy video gaming I personally have to be honest with you maybe it's because I'm a cheap bastard I hate and pretty much refuse to buy games when they first come out uh, especially on the PC I know on the console there's kind of this whole uh, you know syndicate of places like uh, GameStop and stuff that uh, will buy used games for a console and you know buy them for you know five bucks and then resell it for like 49.99 and make you think you're getting a great deal and it's a pile of shit it's bullshit so uh, i don't feel uh it it necessary at, a, at all to buy a game when it first comes out i know for some people it's a must-have and, and that's fine that's fine um I just think it's better to wait a little bit. Uh, with PC especially, unfortunately, a lot of games come out. Uh, even as recently, we just saw with Arkham Shite, and then uh, with the Batman game, and then now most recently with Call of Duty Black Ops 3, where the beta what ran fine and the final product what ran like ass on launch. Uh, apparently, it's been patched and better, but, you know, that's why rather than be frustrated when a lot of these uh, AAA games come out, I'd rather wait a little bit um, and, uh, you know, buy them once they're fixed, which is bullshit. They should be released fixed, but, you know, that's the industry for you. So uh, I'm just going to, like I said, just going to play it a little bit. I, here, I'm going to stop right here just so, uh, you know, I can wor start working on the next one. I'm going to try and put a bunch of videos out uh, pretty quick, uh, you know, again, with these type of uh, cheapo games that you can buy for dirt cheap and... Um, uh, so I'll be up here with another one soon for you guys. So once again, this is the Bootstrap Gamer, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.